The FDA about Delta-8 THC. Five things you may want to know. Delta-8 tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, is a psychotropic chemical found in the cannabis sativa plant, of which cannabis and hemp are both forms. Delta-8 THC is one of approximately 100 cannabinoids generated naturally by the cannabis plant. However, it is not present in substantial concentrations. As a result, high levels of Delta-8 THC are often produced from cannabidiol obtained from hemp, CBD. Here we made for you an article regarding to the FDA about Delta-8 THC. Five things you may want to know. Consumers should be informed that the FDA, U.S. Food and Drug, has not examined or authorized Delta-8 THC products for safe use in any setting. They may be sold in ways that endanger public health and should be kept out of the reach of youngsters and pets in particular. Here are five things you may want to know regarding the FDA about Delta-8 THC to protect you and people you care about safe from potentially harmful products. 1. Delta-8 THC products have not been studied or authorized for safe use by the FDA and may be promoted in ways that endanger public health. First thing to know regarding the FDA about Delta-8 THC. The FDA is aware of the rising concerns about Delta-8 THC products offered online and in shops. The FDA has not examined or cleared these items for safe use in any setting. Concerns include product composition and labeling variations, additional cannabinoid and terpene content, and fluctuating Delta-8 THC amounts. Furthermore, some of these items may simply be branded as hemp products, which may confuse customers who equate hemp with non-psychoactive. Furthermore, the FDA is worried about the growth of products containing Delta-8 THC that are advertised for therapeutic or medicinal purposes while not being FDA approved. Selling unapproved drugs with unproven therapeutic claims is not only illegal, but it can also endanger customers because these treatments have not been demonstrated to be safe or effective. Because patients and other consumers may adopt experimental treatments instead of licensed remedies to cure serious and even fatal conditions, fraudulent marketing of unproven treatments poses substantial public health issues. Two, the FDA has received reports of adverse events regarding products containing Delta-8 THC. Second thing to know regarding the FDA about Delta-8 THC. Between December 1, 2020 and February 28, 2022, the FDA received 104 reports of adverse events in patients who used Delta-8 THC products. Among the 104 adverse event reports are 77% of the patients were adults, 8% were pediatric patients under the age of 18, and 15% did not indicate their age. 55% required intervention, such as examination by emergency medical services or hospitalization. 66% reported unpleasant effects after consuming Delta-8 THC-containing food items, egg, brownies, gummies. The following adverse effects occurred, hallucinations, vomiting, tremor, anxiety, dizziness, disorientation, and loss of consciousness. Between January 1, 2021, the day the Delta-8 THC product code was introduced to the database, and February 28, 2022, National Poison Control Centers received 2,362 exposure instances of Delta-8 THC products. Among the 2,362 incidents of exposure, 58% of the patients were adults, 41% were pediatric children under the age of 18, and 1% did not indicate their age. Unintentional Delta-8 THC exposure accounted for 40% of the cases, with pediatric patients accounting for 82% of the cases. 70% required a healthcare institution review, with 8% requiring admission to a critical care unit. 
45% of patients requiring a healthcare facility evaluation were pediatric patients. One pediatric instance had a medical result of death coded. Three, Delta 8 TC is both psychotropic and intoxicating. Third thing to know regarding the FDA about Delta 8 TC. Delta 8 TC is psychoactive and intoxicating, similar to Delta 9 TC. The component responsible for the high people may feel after consuming cannabis. The FDA is aware of media, claims that Delta 8 THC products cause consumers to become high. The FDA is particularly worried that Delta 8 THC products may expose consumers to far greater doses of the drug than exists naturally in hemp cannabis raw extracts. As a result, previous cannabis use cannot be relied on to establish a degree of safety for these products in humans. Four. Delta-8 THC products frequently contain possibly dangerous substances to achieve the market quantities of Delta-8 THC. The fourth thing to know regarding the FDA about Delta-8 THC, because the natural level of Delta-8 THC in hemp is so low, extra chemicals are required to convert other cannabinoids in hemp, such as CBD, into Delta-8 THC, e synthetic conversion. Concerns of this procedure include Through this chemical synthesis method, some firms may employ potentially hazardous household chemicals to produce Delta-8 THC. To modify the color of the finished product, additional chemicals may be applied. Because of the chemicals utilized in the process, the final Delta-8 THC product may contain potentially dangerous byproducts, contaminants, and there is ambiguity about additional possible contaminants that may be present or created depending on the nature of the beginning raw material. These compounds, including some required to manufacture, synthesize, Delta-8 THC, and byproducts formed during synthesis, can be dangerous if swallowed or breathed. Delta-8 THC products may be manufactured in unregulated or unsanitary conditions resulting in the presence of hazardous pollutants or other potentially toxic compounds. 5. Keep Delta-8 THC items out of the reach of youngsters and dogs. The fifth and the last thing to know regarding the FDA about Delta-8 THC. Manufacturers are packaging and labeling these items in ways that youngsters may find appealing. Gummies, chocolates, cookies, candies, etc. These goods can be purchased online as well as through a number of merchants, including convenience stores and petrol stations, where there may be no age restrictions. As previously stated, there have been a number of poison control center warnings involving juvenile children who have been exposed to Delta-8 THC-containing products. Furthermore, animal poison control centers have reported a significant increase in the inadvertent exposure of pets to these products. Keep these items away from children and pets. Why is the FDA informing people about Delta-8 THC? The FDA has decided to disclose this information to consumers due to a number of issues. These elements are as follows. An increase in reports of adverse events to the FDA and the nation's poison control centers. Marketing that is attractive to children includes internet marketing of items. Concerns about contamination caused by manufacturing procedures that may be employed in some situations to generate marketed Delta-8 THC products. The FDA is actively working with federal and state partners to address these goods problems, while also monitoring the market for product complaints, adverse events, and any new cannabis-derived products of potential concern. When FDA-regulated items break the law, the FDA will send warnings to consumers about public health and safety concerns. We hope you enjoyed reading our article on the FDA about Delta-8 THC.